Uh, right, a little right, this way. Right. Are we ready? I wanted to make a brief okay, statement uh, with regard to the sentences that were handed down today uh, by Judge Caputo. Um, we feel that this was a very, these were very significant and very substantial sentences, and, and appropriately send the proper message that the court indicated it wanted to send regarding the violations of the public trust that occurred here. Uh, and I want to thank and commend uh, the assistant U.S. attorneys and the very dedicated agents of the Scranton FBI office and the Scranton IRS Criminal Investigations Office who worked so long and so diligently uh, to put this case together and to successfully uh, prosecute. Are there any other questions? Are you, are you disappointed with knowing the guidelines with the sentence that was imposed? No, we are not disappointed. As I said, we feel that this is a significant and substantial sentence. Uh, for the Middle District of Pennsylvania, and indeed for, for all of Pennsylvania. Uh, and beyond that, I, I, I won't comment uh, on the length of the sentences that were imposed. From what you've seen in the public corruption probe regarding the judges in Lackawanna County with the terms of 28 and 17 years, and now these, do you believe these sentences are significant deterrents? Uh, we can only hope so. And the sentences you referred to were the sentences of the judges in Luzerne County. Um, we hope so. We hope the message is going to be coming through, and I, I, I think the people standing behind me are going to be doing their best to make sure that any any allegations of violations of federal laws, especially in the public corruption area, are vigorously investigated and will be prosecuted, and, and we will seek appropriate substantial sentences in them as well. Without naming names, do you expect any more indictments in this public corruption probe in the two counties? Uh, I think I can't comment on that at this point. <laughs> Do you uh, anticipate a future prosecution, Mr. Madero, on witness statement? Uh, I have no comment. Can you say whether or not you will uh, try to appeal the, the, the judge's decision regarding the enhancements? He didn't agree with you on the enhancements. Is that an appealable issue, and do you plan to do that? Well, the judge obviously conducted a very thorough analysis and, and, and discussion and review of the factors and all the information, the voluminous information that was presented. It's really premature. Uh, to draw any conclusions as to what the government will do. Uh, we're going to study the, uh, the sentences and the statements and the information, uh, review it, and then make a decision, and, and you'll, of course, be informed at the appropriate time. Thank you.